Hello everyone, this is Gally and in this episode we're going to be doing a frequently asked questions section. So we can start by reading what some people have commented on a journal I made asking them like what questions they would like to ask and some others that some people have had like a while back and I never answered I think. So I will start with Tassin or Tassin, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, you're a Christian, how does your faith play a role in your art, in any part of the process? Yes, I am, I became a Christian when I was 16 and my faith does play a big role in my art. I think I like to do um, artwork that reflects light and good, good things, even though they're like beasts and animals, I like to show how nature is involved, like how beautiful their designs can be, their colors, you know, the anatomy of animals. I love animals, so I'm really happy to like play a part in that, to create different creatures with the ones that are already created. Uh, it affected me in positive and negative ways, because I draw dragons since I can remember. Um, well, some people in my Christian circles, <clears throat> they think that dragons are, you know, from the devil and that they're bad. So, well, I've been judged for that, but I don't really care now. Like, I know that if I have this talent and this gift and I'm not hurting people with doing it, it's okay. So I have this two sides of it. So I, I like to make my values seen in my drawings. Now we're gonna go with a second question from Jim GR 18 It says, when did you start drawing in a more professional way? Hmm, that's a very interesting question. I think... I wanted to be a professional when I was 13 years old. I loved the idea of drawing digitally. I didn't know people used tablets. I thought they used mouse to draw. But when I found out there were tablets and that I learned how to use Photoshop, that's when I chose to, to focus everything I was doing in a more professional way so I could sell my art. And that's how I started, and then I was like 14, 15, 16, selling my drawings. And then when I was 16, that's when I chose I wanted something to do with concept art or animation or anything focusing on drawing for a living. And that's when I really, really started focusing more on learning the basics like perspective, tonal, colors, values. It took me a while, and I'm still learning, to grab those things in a better way and make my art look better. The other question is from Sintail, I think, that's how you say it. What were the things you did before that made you become what you are right now? Like regarding the art journey, and if there are any, what are your goals for the upcoming year, 2019? So, well, the things I did before that made me become what I am right now is fail many, many times. I made so many mistakes in art. When I was younger, I mentioned it in another video. When I first started here in DeviantArt, the only website I knew about art, I posted artwork that I didn't do. I stole things and posted them as myself. Because I wanted the attention, I wanted someone to praise me, you know? But it wasn't something I did, so it didn't really get to me. And of course, the artists that made the, the drawings, they called me out. And I kind of like wanted to become as good as them right away, and that's not possible. So I had to learn to humble myself, to keep learning and get better on my own path instead of just like, you know, getting shortcuts to there. So what I am right now is because there's a lot of artists here that I admire and that of course I was jealous of sometimes, even to the point of feeling sick just by thinking, oh, I never will be like that. But it made me who I am right now, that I copied, I learned, I referenced, I studied. I got all of that from here, from YouTube, from tutorials. And I learned to be more humble, to not feel like I am the best artist in the world. To also learn never again to like steal the work of someone else and pass it as my own. I learned to use reference. So that's my art journey, it brought me all the way here. It's been a lot of stumbles, but I learned. And my goals for the coming year, 2019, is actually using the tutorials I have. And I bought so many books, so many magazines. You know, I have all these um, 
vault of learning material that I just never use because I think I don't have the time or I'm just too lazy. So I want to start doing that and rework on my webcomic, Dracon Extermina. So that's my goal. I know I will complete it. I also want to get a job in any art studio. So let's see how that goes. The next question is the true oryx. How many types of dragons have you drawn and what did the first dragon you drew look like? That's a very interesting question too because I don't know how many types of dragons I've drawn. I think I've drawn waverns, water dragons, air dragons, fire dragons, you know, you name it. I think even candy dragons and moon dragons, everything you can think of. I think dragons are so many things that you can draw them in so many different ways that I would be lying if I say I knew how many. But the first dragon I drew like, I, even though I don't have him with me, I do have a, an old drawing I did called Kimball, I think I named him. He was made with a mouse on paint in the class that we were learning Photoshop. So that, that was when I said, you know what, I do want to work on this. It makes me so happy. So that dragon, I kept it on my gallery. I will put, put it here so you can see my, my first try said drawing with a digital thing, although it was paint. The other question is from Shadow Dragon 777 When did you start to become interested in dragons? When I was four years old, I loved animals, I loved dinosaurs. I liked their scales, their size, and their faces, everything. But then I found out that dragons existed, like in fantasy, you know? And I found out they had wings, and they could fly, and they could throw fire. So I traded my dinosaur love for dragon love and I started drawing more dragons and creating different colors in them and drawing each simple scale by hand. Not perfectly, they were just like parentheses shape scales, but I love to draw them, I love to make them, to create every new design, it was so fun. So I got interested in them when my mom also gave me a little plushie that's Pigment, the dragon from Epcot. It was my first plushie and my first dragon plushie and she liked them as well so I think she had a an influence on me without even knowing and I just loved the freedom they had to be able to fly and how beautiful they looked how majestic I think they're wonderful creatures I don't associate them with anything bad at all I think you know most stories of like the knight versus the dragon I wanted to be the dragon I wanted to have one or befriend one like I didn't I never rooted for the magician or the warrior, I was always on the side of the dragon. So I think that's why I love them, that they like show a lot of freedom. Then these questions are not from anyone in particular, but I will answer them anyway. Like for example, um, what materials do I use to draw? If I draw traditionally, I enjoy sketching with a blue erasable pencil. There is this uh, mechanical pencil called, I think, Pilot Color Eno or something like that. It's a wonderful color. There has some, like red and green, purple. I use blue and it can be erased really easily. And on top of that, I draw with either a mechanical pencil or normal pencils. So it looks so clean and wonderful. And on top of that, either like normal ink pens or the ink ink pens, like micro, they're, they're different. And then I color with Prismacolor um, color pencils or Faber-Castell Polychromos, which in my opinion are the best art colors in the world. I also like watercolor, although I don't really use it that much. And when I'm like using markers, I use Copic markers. And in digital media, I use paint tool size sometimes. But my main tool is always Photoshop because I learned from that and I kind of mastered it now. And for well, like with the tablet, I draw with an Intuos 4 for my tutorials and a Cintiq 13 HD sometimes when I want to do my comic. And yeah, I love Wacom products too. So yeah, that's that's all. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment and I might make another video like this answering all the questions. That was all for now guys, thank you for listening and watching, if you like please subscribe and hit the bell icon on the top of my profile to keep updating on what I submit. See you later, bye bye!